Out here at the Basin Campground. This is the second cook up I'm doing for this sort of trip. The first one is the barbecue ribs in Coca Cola, which is on the fire cooking. Gonna try something I've never done before, so let's hope it works out. Gonna do a dessert mix, like a, I suppose, a vanilla slice. Right, so as I said, gonna do a dessert, or at least try. Never done it before. Of course. Yep, perfect. Right here. Okay, cook up number two. So I'm going to try a dessert, uh, like a vanilla slice, I suppose. Get these from Woolworths. A dessert mix. 2 and M, 600 ml, 600 mils of thick and cream, some vanilla essence, icing sugar, and I'm also going to throw some apple slice into it as well, and some short uh, crust pastry. So what I'll do, cut the pastry, put it on a like a pan, or a skillet even if, you, if that's what you're using, put it on a pan, heat it up so it just browns off or cooks up a little bit, uh, flip it, and then we'll do the slice mixture. There's lots of motorbikes out here. Um, the ribs are still cooking. I said they're going to take four or five hours. So I'm doing two cook ups on this trip. It'll be two separate videos. Uh, they'll be back to back. Let's see how we go here. Rightio. So we had the cream. This is at 600 mils thick and cream. Two of these. Probably just do one at a time, mix it in. Now I brought uh, shortbread pastry with me. Probably should have brought uh, puff pastry, but end of the day, it's still going to be a very similar result. Some vanilla essence, not sure how much. That looks like it's plenty. Probably need a bourbon. Try to get a bit more vanilla in there, I think. So what we'll do with that, so I think I'll just put a cover over that and put it in the fridge for a little while. Right. So I'm just going to put the pan on the fire, get it nice and warm. And then with the pastry,
As I said, I'm, I'm no chef, so no cook. And the second one, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Probably about a centimetre on each side, I suppose. Still not sure how this is going to turn out. Then what you do... It's just dust the bottom. Probably a little bit more carefully than that. So the pastry's on there just cooking away. With the slice, I've heated the base up in a pan. You just want it light brown, just that the pastry itself's cooked through. I've done two of them, the bottom and the top. Or well, this will be the bottom and the other one will be the top. Grab your mixture you made up, we made up earlier. Try to flatten it out as best as possible. Now this is going to stand pretty tall. Probably had enough in there to make two. The top on. Let's be just trimmed a fraction. There we go. So I said it's going to be quite a thick slice. Um, put a cover over it in the fridge for a half hour or until you're ready, and uh, it's all done. The slice is cooked and done. Everyone spoke to the guys on the motorbikes and offer them half the slice. It's far too much for me to eat. Um, so they've, they've said they're willing to be the guinea pigs. And I appreciate that. They've been out all day riding and one of them said, I need a sugar intake. So the wind's just starting to pick up here and bark's falling off the trees everywhere. As long as the branches don't fall and fall in the rooftop tent or the car, I'll be happy. Uh, Got a little bit sidetracked, just speaking of some uh, some other people staying here. So, going to try to turn this slice. Probably the easiest way, put a base on it. And there we go. I'm just going to square that off and see if we can present it a bit ni uh, nicer. There you go, a camp cook up apple and custard dessert just going to share this now if the guys keeping across um, the other side there the guys on the motorbike had a chat from earlier they said they'd be me guinea pigs also I just spoke with a couple who are just up on top of the hill going to give them one uh, little sample as well cheers guys <laughs>